Hello, it's a beautiful afternoon here in Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, it hasn't been very cold yet, so our bahia grass is still actively growing and it does inhibit the growth of our winter annuals that we no-till drill without any herbicides or chemicals in this lake bottom. So uh, why is it so important to plant uh, oats, rye grass, wheat or veg, hairy veg or um, white clover, sweet clover? Well, there will come a time when we get frost here and then bahia grass stops growing. That not only affects our cattle diet or nutrition, because bahia can be very poor when frosted, down to 3% protein and very low energy. But we also need to have something green and growing year round to benefit our micro, soil microorganisms. So I try to keep something green and growing year round. Like over here is a bayou kale that seems to be doing very well. And it's a very high uh, energy and protein plant that we can graze when it gets cold and it can take a lot of cold. And we need to think about the whole environment when we uh, decide to spend some money. We need to find a way to improve the soil, improve our profits, benefit wildlife, benefit the world or the environment, and to where we can have a pleasant life in the country while we maximize our profits and the good we can give to the following generations. When we have something green and growing, the plant's roots, the green plant roots, keep producing uh, sugary root exudates, which feed the soil microorganisms, which in turn are converted into humus. The bodies of these decomposed microorganisms are digested by many generations generations of other microorganisms and then and then in turn they are digested the last digestion by fungi after this last digestion there comes the process of humification where we end with the decomposed or degraded organic matter that cannot be further degraded and that's what we call humus, the real soil fertility that we can depend on for a hundred years or even a little more. We have been mining that with conventional agriculture and with selective grazing because when we do selective grazing the humus doesn't increase in warm areas like Tallahassee, Florida or Georgia or Texas, Oklahoma and many other areas. So the fastest way to improve our soil, real fertility, humus, is by doing a total graze, long rest periods, total graze after enough time has passed so the roots have fully recovered their energy reserves to where we get fat roots. Once we have fat roots, we can grow fat land, that means high humus land. Once we have fat land, we can produce higher quality forages to where we can enjoy fat cows. When, once we have fat cows, we can have a fat wallet or high profits. If we do not have uh, fat cows and only thin cows, they will give us pity, but not profits. So a fat cow is a prerequisite, a healthy cow for maximum profitability. I hope you enjoy this view as much as I do. It's beautiful. Have a good day.